Hello, guys hope you are fine. This is Mech Revo, so let us start our video. In today's video, we are gonna see the history of two tech giants right from Silicon Valley. Advanced Micro Device is also known as AMD and the Intel Corporation. So let's discuss AMD. It is a global company that specializes in manufacturing semiconductor devices used in computer processing. The company also produces flash memories, graphics processors, motherboard chipsets and a variety of components used in consumer electronics goods. The company is a major supplier of microprocessors computer chips. AMD is based in Santa Clara, California. AMD was founded in 1969 by Walter Jeremiah, Jerry, Sandra former executive at Fairchild Semiconductor Corporation and seven others the company released its first product in 1970 and went public two years later the company released its first product in 1970 and went public two years later in the mid 1970s the company began producing computer chips the company produced a great emphasis on quality and grew steadily this was all about the advanced micro devices now let's talk about the other multinational company called Intel two guys named Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore were Silicon Valley legends but when they found Intel in 1968 both of them were also among the founders at Fairchild in 1957 like Jerry and in those years they found tremendous success the Noyce and Moore had grown very wealthy Noyce co-invented the ICs which was one of the most important devices of the century and Moore had articulated Moore's law a defining principle of technology development in 1968 Noyce and Moore resigned from Fairchild because they felt their parent company is not in innovation anymore Noyce explained his hopes for the future and his letter of resignation and after a vacation they started their new small company called Intel and continued its innovation for its first year the company focused exclusively on research and development wanting to develop technologies no one else offered at the time. Mora described the full faculty as larger than we need. Intel did not stay small for long, however, by the end of its third calendar year of operations, the company had already contributed several of the most important inventions of the 20th century, begun turning a profit, and outgrown the facility that Moore had considered too large. Now Intel had managed a high research and development budget to ensure that the company's commitment to new products and technologies would continue unabated. So guys this is not it we will continue to debate on it but next time so bye bye see you in the next one if you like it and support bye.